resources. The capital demands for meeting the Millennium Development Goals are intensive, <coughs> and the debate so far has focused mainly on financing, but social capitals are abundant and remains largely unutilized. The capacity for communities to exploit their own resources in acquiring access to services should be developed, not only as a means to an end, but also for empowerment. And we have very good examples from Indonesia and Cameroon to demonstrate this point. Deliberate participation. Deliberate participation of infrastructure-based community development has given rise to some of the most successful initiatives to acquire basic services. Whereas the poor and the disenfranchised often get by using meager informal approaches, participatory community-based development initiatives can be transforming and empowering while creating access to basic services. Best practices presented throughout the workshop demonstrated that very often the process is more important than the outcome. And we had very interesting cases from Sonsongon City in Philippines. Information. For participation to be meaningful, real, ongoing efforts must create access to information and the decision-making process. The open sharing of information with effective feedback systems helps local authorities to cope with challenges of globalization as it creates trust, it facilitates consensus building on collective concerns and priority action. The lack of information was demonstrated to be very harsh on local initiatives as we saw from the examples of Pakistan, Faisalabad in Pakistan and Bhopal in India. International cooperation. Cities and human settlement systems provide the framework for systematic service delivery for poverty alleviation and economic development. And this was demonstrated by the case of Kibera some upgrading from Kenya. Local authorities who deal directly with associated daily challenges should be empowered to drive development and globalization through local plans and local action. The voice of cities and settlements as represented, for example, through the newly formed United Cities and Local Authorities should be given good listening and consideration in all international forum and multilateral and bilateral development cooperation. Thank you very much. Good job.